what's up guys it's jay hit and bring us back another video and uh yeah i know it's been a minute since i uploaded and as you can tell it's like a little new angle i guess you know i'm trying something new uh it's not really my normal filming routine but i figure i just want to get a little quick video i'm in a car and also i'm in a newer also i'm in a different car than i was before i was uh in a jeep before but uh this is a little yukon this is just something for right now um, my engine died, so that's kind of why I haven't been uploading videos, but that's not really no excuse. Uh, just trying to figure out life stuff, you know what I'm saying? My car and other little stuff, but I'm pretty much back on track. I'm stable, I'm good. You know, we're trying to have a skin glowing, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's got these little body oils, you feel me? Like, we're trying to take care of ourselves, you know, trying to get leaner. Like I said, the skin clear for the summer, you feel me? But let's get right into the video topic. Today, I wanted to talk about the domino effect of the gym. So the domino effect of the gym pretty much to me is like, um, everyone knows what the domino effect is. So when you work out, you're more inclined to eat better. I mean, you don't want to go to the gym, you know, and just constantly eat BS because then you're going to feel, you're, you're not going to feel good. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to feel good about yourself. And that's only, of course, that's like the main thing that you can go to, but a lot of people still go to the gym and, eat, you know. I mean, of course, you can still eat foods that's quote unquote not that good for you or whatever. And I still do it from time to time. But obviously, I don't do it every day. And I'm not, I don't do it all the time to where the fact that, like, I'm gaining weight and I'm just doing myself more harm than I am good. Because, like, at the beginning of the year when I wasn't on track, I was kind of doing that. And I felt the difference. You know what I'm saying? You actually feel the difference, especially when you actually start taking care of your health and start actually going to the gym you do feel the difference like if you go to the gym and eat a bag of hot chips so you ate like a burger for the day rather than you eating i don't know even you fasting or you just had like some fruit and some water like you definitely feel the difference like it's a complete difference so so yeah like i said that's one of the main you know one of the main things you know it, it encourages you to eat better also encourages you to take care of your skin because with you working out you know what i'm saying like of course, your skin is going to get healthier. I mean, you getting all those toxins, if, especially if you're going in the sauna. The sauna has a lot of great benefits. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're sweating all that salt out. You're sweating out all the BS. You're sweating out all the BS. You're sweating out all the salt. You're getting all those toxins out your body. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'm pl and plus, like, you know, when you're working out, you're probably going to take more showers than you have than you would if you wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you take a shower after work already. I mean, well, especially with my job, I work at CVS, so... I have a lot of dirt and stuff on a consistent basis, so I kind of have to. Sometimes I just go straight to the gym, but nah, sometimes I like to, ironically, I like to come to the gym clean because it kind of put me in a different mood, you know what I'm saying? It kind of put me in a different state. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just the cleanliness of it, you know, but I like to have my oils on, you know what I'm saying? Like nice and fresh before I go to the gym, my deodorant and stuff, nice and fresh. And if I ain't got that much time, then, you know, I, you know, I'll do a quick little whatever, a quick little thing in the sink and do what I need to do. But I mean, it's also going to encourage you to take care of your skin because you're going to be taking more showers. You know what I'm saying? Like, you'll be taking more showers. I mean, you know, all that sweat and stuff like that and dirt. I mean, yeah, you don't have to take a shower to the gym every day. You know what I'm saying? Or all the time. Because sometimes you're not going to feel like it. You're not. But you can't make that a habit because your claws are going to pour, you know. And plus, you want to just feel cleaner. So, I'm pretty sure, like, it would help you, you know, to invest in skincare. I mean, that's what I've been doing. That's what I probably, I've been doing that for, like, well, heavily for like the last like six to seven months, probably like really heavily investing and in actually looking stuff up, like not just getting like, oh, this look cool, like a skin thing. I mean, I've been had face pads and stuff last year, but I wasn't as serious as I'm with it now. Like I said, I just got them body oils and uh, got like some little YSL cologne, but it's just like a little starter cologne because I'm kind of investing in myself, like I said, in skincare and all that, taking care of myself and. You know, the body oils, like I said, this little, I just got this little Shea Moisture, you know, oil, and uh, like I said, the, the CeraVe, the Cetaphil, the facial cleansers, I mean, the lotion, the Lubiderm, non-fragrance, like, I really try to take care of my skin, I mean, shit, like I said, you see in the camera right now, the way it's hitting, you know, and all I put on was some, a little bit of oil and lotion, that was it, but more further than that, it's also because of your health, I mean, you take it you know, you're drinking water, you know, that's another domino effect, like, you're drinking a lot of water, you're not drinking all that popping that juice all the time, there's no way your body can conserve energy, there's no way that your body is gonna, 
produce as much as it should and you drinking pop and juice and going to the gym it just doesn't work like that our body is what they say like 70 percent water or something like that and plus you're sweating a hell of a lot you know just doing physical activity or whatever you're doing whether it's jump rope treadmill cardio weightlifting whatever it is you're gonna build up some type of sweat you know what i'm saying especially me like i said i have a physical job and then i go to the gym so i'm sweating a lot so i'm pretty i go through about four four to five of these a day you know what i'm saying i go through a lot of those a day it's nothing for me to chug them boys down, like chug, chug a whole bunch of water down. And also, you know, of course, like water makes your skin clear. I mean, your outside appearance, you know, I think the biggest thing that, that you know, you can take from this video is uh, the outside appearance is oftentimes a reflection of the inside. And all, and all the times it's not, you know what I'm saying? Because there's somebody can look, you know, perfectly in shape and somebody can have the cleanest skin and the nicest hair and they could be the most depressed or the most insecure or most piece of shit person ever but i mean it is sometimes it is an indication indication of your inside i mean your body responds to things you know i didn't have the best skin uh when i was in middle school and high school i was eating a lot of bs and i wasn't really took care of my skin i had eczema a little bit but i mean yeah i put like a little vaseline and cocoa butter on it but i wasn't serious in trying to change it it kind of just kind of went away when i just stopped putting different products on my body and also that's another thing like i said with the domino effect like it like that like going back to that skincare like i have to start looking up products because i can't just put anything on my body i tried to put like x body spray on my body and my underarms would be on fire back in like eighth and ninth grade and then i try to get the irish spring soap and irish spring deodorant and the shit would just literally burn my skin like it just doesn't react well i think i have sensitive skin but I, I do use products now, you know what I'm saying, that does help me, so I don't have to have that problem anymore, you know, because if I, if I, if I want to work out and I want to look good as far as muscle get goals or gain goals or lean goals, you know what I'm saying, like, I, you know, I'm being lean and I'm trying to have, be vascular and I'm trying to have these big shoulders and this chest and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure that I would want my skin to indicate that also, you know what I'm saying, you also want your skin to look good, that's like you said, a domino effect, and plus, and the third thing, the third biggest thing, I don't want to make this video too long. The third biggest thing I could probably say is just it affecting other areas in your life. You know, you come to the gym and you've been coming to the gym for a long time or whatever your workout routine is, whether it's you jump up and trim it, whatever it is, you know, um, you know, you, you start making this progress over time and you start being like, wow, I'm seeing these changes and I'm doing more and I'm, I'm doing bigger weight or. I can do more reps, so I got more endurance this time around. Oh, this doesn't feel as heavy. This doesn't feel as hard. You know what I'm saying? It's all. It's almost most of the time it's gonna bleed into other areas of life because you 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 really learn patience. You know what I'm saying? You really learn patience, and you really learn that every day is not gonna be a good day. Sometimes you go into the gym, you might feel like hot shit. You know, you might feel like damn, this went up easy today. So not good. Sometimes you go into the gym, you might not even feel like going in there. And you go in there and have a good workout and you don't feel like going. Sometimes you feel like it's going to be a good day and you have a bad day. Sometimes you have a bad day going in and then the, you end up having a bad day in there. Like it's not, you know, and a lot of times, like I say, I understand linear progression. And of course, like you're going to progress over time, putting in work, but not every day is going to be the same. Sometimes those weights are going to feel heavier. Sometimes them weights are going to feel lighter. It just all depends on your day, your rest, your mood what did you eat you know what i'm saying like it's so many different factors and like i said patience is the key of what i'm trying to say like not every day is going to be the same so don't expect those same results and sometimes i tell myself that don't expect those same results every time you go into the gym like you could be crushing it then one day you know what i'm saying you probably not gonna hit the same numbers because maybe your body's a little fatigued maybe you push it a little too hard maybe you didn't get enough sleep you know what i'm saying so patience is just a it's just a huge thing and like I said, that bleeding over the area, other areas of your life, like financial wise, you know what I'm saying? Like saving this money and just putting your head to the ground like I'm trying to do, like, you know, and open up this credit card and trying to build up this credit. You know, it's just overall, you know, you just want to do better. I mean, you want to look better. OK, you want to get gains. That's cool, too. But it's other areas in life that need to be affected, like your mental and your spiritual, which I really been trying to be big on. Like I said, well, damn near all my life. But especially within the past year or two, like me journaling and stuff like that. Like if I can have 300, 400 pounds, if I can lift up 400, damn near 500 pounds off the ground, have 300 pounds on my back and 
Left up over 200 off my test, 225 off my test. I mean, shit, why can't I do anything else? I mean, it's the hardest thing to do in the world. But yeah, guys, didn't want to make this video too long. Sorry for the delays. Uh, if you got any video topics that you want to see or any questions that you got from me in the comments, uh, just leave it down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share it around. You know, if you got any feedback and if you agree with me or you disagree, leave it down in the comments. It's Jay Henning. Peace.